In this video, I want to show you my top 10 songs of the 90s that use four chords, just four chords in the entire song. The purpose of this video is to give you loads of ideas of great songs that you can learn quite quickly and also show you how much can be done, how many great songs can be played with just a few chords, just four chords per song. So grab your guitar, come join me and let's learn some great songs and click the link at the top of the description to find full tutorials for every song we cover in this video. This first song defines guitar music for a lot of people, especially from the 90s, and this is Smells Like Teen Spirit. This uses the F chord to a B flat, so two first fret power chords, and then move into fret four for a G sharp, and fret four root five for C sharp. F, B flat, G sharp, C sharp. The verses just use the root note of each one of those chords, played on a bass on the original recording, but chords wise just using those four chords the same. And then the lead guitar part in the verses, super simple, first fret, string two, string one. That is of course played on electric guitar on the original. This next one is electric guitar on the original, but there's some fantastic acoustic versions out there, not least by Radiohead themselves. This is Creep. The four chords that make up creep are G major, B major, C major, and C minor. To play the riff, we do have a brief use of sus4, a sus4 version of each of those chords, but at its bare bones, we have one, two, three, four chords throughout. and just playing the power chords in the chorus. No way I do What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here, C minor. And that's the full song. Next up we have a similar song where we have a quiet, clean guitar verse and a very heavy overdriven chorus, but it works great on acoustic guitar. This is Zombie by the Cranberries. The basic chords to this are E minor, C major, G major, and then D over F sharp. So D slash F sharp, which means D major chord, F sharp played by the thumb in the bass. Next up is a cover, but a very famous cover and an iconic song and cover by Guns N' Roses. This is Knocking On Heaven's Door. So the Guns N' Roses version would use broadly the same chords, G, D, A minor, G, D, C, as the Bob Dylan version. They're tuned half a step down and Slash plays it a little bit differently, a little bit more picked in the intro. And then of course those same chords are really just G, D and C for the chorus. Just played as power chords, but the four chords. Next up, we have another song with a little bit of picking and strumming, just using four chords. This is Wild Wood by Paul Weller.
This song with a capo at the second fret uses the A minor chord, E minor over A, D minor 7, and then D minor 7 flat 5, but don't panic, it's just the first three strings at the first fret, either held down by the first finger, or kind of playing it like an A major chord, like this, but I just bar. Playing the root note and then strumming the chord. Beautiful song. Now I'm going through this list quite chronologically, so we're starting off in the early 90s so far here. And what was really popular in the early 90s and that I was a big fan of and still am are all these MTV unplug sessions. One of the most famous is by Nirvana. Uh, and they did a version of a very old song, um, which is Where Did You Sleep Last Night or In The Pines. That uses four chords. This just uses E major, A major, G major, and B major. So essentially, my girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night in the pines? In the pines where the sun don't ever shine, I would shiver the whole night through. That continues like that for the entire song, and it's a really fabulous performance by the band. Another iconic band of the 90s, and still to this day, are Green Day. One of their best songs, the song that when I've seen them, they tend to finish their live gig with, is Time of Your Life, Good Riddance Time of Your Life. And that just uses the chords G major, C major, D major, and E minor for the entire song. Uh, the C major can be played as C add nine to be able to play the riff. And then in the rest of the song, E minor, D, C and G. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life. Another iconic band of the 90s is the Smashing Pumpkins and their song 1979 and it's bare bones, just uses four chords, E major, A major, F sharp minor and B. There is a riff with it. But you, as you can hear there underneath the riff is an E root note and an A root note because the chords E major to A major and then at the end of the verses One of the biggest selling songs of the 90s has to be Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. And the way Richard Ashcroft plays that on acoustic is just with E major to E sus4, D major, and A major throughout the entire song. That's how he plays it on acoustic. So let's have a look at that. Cause it's a bittersweet symphony this life Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up in the strumming And that's for the entire song Couldn't be simpler Finally, we have one of my favourite songs to play at open mic nights or cover gigs uh, throughout the years. This is Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. This uses the chords A minor, F major, C major and G major. And this is the first of really what we call a four chord song in this context. And it's played like this.
this palm muting, along with the 16th strumming, so strumming to a 16th rhythm, makes it super exciting, loads of dynamics, and singing Save Tonight, Fight the Break of Dawn is a great sentiment to sing at open mic nights and cover gigs. I want to do two honourable mentions just to finish up. These songs do not have only four chords in them, but they, they're mostly made of four chords, and I just wanted to add them on the list and uh, show you guys how to play them, because I think they're fantastic. Starting off with Say Ain't So by Weezer. So the original recording is tuned down by half a step, so E-flat tuning, E-flat, A-flat, D-flat, etc. But the chords are C-sharp minor, if we're in standard tuning, G-sharp major, A major, and E, and it has this really cool bar first to play the riff, and the picking. Super cool, then power chords. But the rest of the song, the bridge, and uh, middle eight does use extra chords. It's not really a four chord song, which is the same with Everybody Hurts, an iconic. <laughs> Just using D and G major, E minor, and then A major for the chorus. along with a lot of songs that we've covered on this list. A couple of step downs, just passing notes. But of course, the middle eight to it, or the bridge, does use other chords. It doesn't just stick to four, but four for the majority. Which were your favorite from that list? Let me know any others that I've missed um, or that you would like tutorials for. I'll leave a couple of videos on screen now that I think you might enjoy, along with a link to my beginner's uh, acoustic guitar course. If you check that out, that's got loads of play-along tracks, and that would be the thing. If you want to play guitar to this level, playing four chord songs from the 90s, that would be the thing that I'd recommend from what I offer. I hope to see you there. It's available at andyguitar.co.uk.